Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, don't forget I am doing the buy one, gift one half off uh, at this time for the holidays. And I am now doing love readings. Um, for the new vibration of 2022, I know we're about a week early, but I'm going to go ahead and change it up because I'm really feeling called, especially with this, uh, you know, winter solstice and everybody wanting to get into that love vibe. Uh, unfortunately, I did pull some cards, though, and whoever's love reading this is for is going to be a little bit more intense. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first card out, we have the Seven of Swords and we have the King of Cups underneath with the five of cups and the two of cups and the three of cups. So I'm going to go ahead and say, oh, and then we have the king of swords here. I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here looking at the rest of the cards. And I'm going to say that someone did somebody really dirty. Uh, this is the liar, cheater, thief card. Um, someone here who thinks they're getting away with something. Someone here leaving in broad daylight, uh, you know, packing up some of their stuff and just checking out. Now I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and say, for some of you, it is the divine masculine or the masculine energy here. I feel like, uh, the, um, I feel like whoever this is in the in this energy uh, wanted some type of a reconciliation, and I feel like the other person does not, okay? So someone here has decided that they're going to go off on a journey to go out and find their two of cups. Two people who see eye to eye, even though they've emotionally invested in this relationship, they have decided that it's time to go ahead and go. There's too much water under the bridge, and we're going to go ahead and let it die. It's the end of a relationship here okay someone is getting ready to move they could be moving okay it does not always necessarily have to be a liar cheater or a thief but that is kind of what I'm getting okay uh, I feel like you know maybe you you know brought someone into your life and now this person has decided that they're gonna go off on a journey and it's going to be the end of the two of you as you know it there needed to be some type of a transformation I feel like the, if there was some type of a third party situation I feel like that is over now especially if someone was being sneaky. Uh, I feel like someone here was just not emotionally available at the time that you were there. And this person ended up just leaving you high and dry. Um, and it kind of forced you into something else, uh, forced you to move, forced you to leave, forced you to go. Okay. Uh, I think that for some of you, you were really hoping that the two of you guys could come back together and reconcile your differences but I'm not seeing that happen. I feel like it's this was all put and orchestrated by the universe to get the two of you guys to walk away. For someone else here, I feel like somebody is trying to come back in. It could be someone from your past. We are in Venus retrograde. And I feel like this person is definitely wanting a second chance with you, but... Um, you're going to have to make a decision. I feel like, you know, you thought this was uh, dead and gone, but this person is wanting to sneak back in. And for some of you, you haven't even seen them yet. Uh, and they want to transform this relationship. So it depends on which side of the fence that you're on uh, is how this is going to go. So you know where you stand in your relationships. Okay, so I am seeing that there was some type of an ending, but I also am feeling, wow, we got religious uh, factors, engagement, and attraction. Bottom of the deck, true love. So for some of you, I feel like you thought this was your true love. You thought that this is somebody that you were going to spend the rest of your life with, but you've decided, you know what, I'm going to go off on this journey and I'm going to go off and be alone. Um... The, I, I said irreconcilable differences, and then we have the religious factors, and it doesn't always necessarily have to be religious. It could be spiritual factors. It could just be a difference in beliefs between the two of you, okay? So I feel like, you know, someone here wanted to get married, and the other person did not, and that was a deal breaker between the two of you. Um, and so you've decided, you know, since you're not getting to the level of, of relationship that you wanted to be in, it was time for you to go off and learn something new. 
uh, which kind of put you in a place of needing to be in the moment, uh, you know, stopping and smelling the roses. You know, it's really funny here. I see the little boy reaching up and giving, uh, reaching up with the um, bouquet of flowers, white flowers. And then here I'm seeing her stopping and smelling the flowers. So you could definitely be getting some type of maybe a gift in the mail of flowers. Somebody could leave flowers on your doorstep. Uh, maybe this person's trying to come back in. Like I said, it really depends on who you're talking to. Or maybe this happened in the past. You guys had a lot of, you know, um, irreconcilable differences. Because I feel like I'm tuned into a few different people and a couple of different stories. And I'm, I'm so again, I, I apologize for being all over the place, but I'm, I'm really getting a few different things. Um, you could definitely, like I said, end up getting flowers. Um, I feel like... I feel like for some of you, this is someone that you knew from the past and this person has now come back in hopes that the two of you guys can come together as one. But I almost feel like you're like, there's going to be another ending and then it's like, it's up in the air. It's not really saying here, like, yes, the two of you guys are coming back together because, again, we have free will. Everybody's going to choose something different. And there's a few of you going, oh, my God, I don't want my ex back. Oh, my God. That might not be who it is. Maybe it was somebody that you were friends with that you guys had a crush on each other and somebody moved away. And then all of a sudden, you guys are coming back together and you have to make a decision on whether or not you guys want to take this to a higher level of commitment, like the engagement card says here. And I feel like... If this person isn't willing, again, if you guys have come back to there, maybe that's what broke you up in the first place. You guys were friends and the other person was like, I'll never get married. And you're like, well, there goes my hopes. I'm out of here, you know? And you never really quite told the person why it was that you were leaving in the first place. Spirit, please show me their relationship message. Relationship message. And this isn't going to be for everyone. This is just going to be for whoever is called to watch this. It may not happen today. Maybe it's happening to a friend. It really doesn't matter. Number 38, it says to be fair. So it's got to be balanced for everybody. And you know what? It's really funny. We have the karma card here, which is typically the judgment. And then we also have justice here. So maybe someone here did some sneaky shit and they were going to jail. And that's when they ended up, you ended up walking away from them because they're of like whatever, you know, shitty stuff that they did. Or maybe they should have gone to jail. So the relationship message says here, can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned and you will learn it if you remain open and objective. Weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is a mutual benefit and each par party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. So it has to be fair, otherwise it's going to end. If there is any type of sneaky behavior, this isn't going to work out. The person is going to find out and they are going to walk away and end this dynamic. For some of you, you've decided, you know, you, maybe, you know, you've been living under the same roof as an ex and you know it's time for you to get out. It's time for an ending. It's time for you to go on your spiritual journey. Like, Spirit didn't send you here just to be an asshole to your ex and live under the same roof, <laughs> you know, um, so that you guys could make each other miserable. That's not how this is. All you're doing is making yourself late from being with the person who you're supposed to be with. So let's be fair. You know, let's be fair. Let's make a final judgment call and walk away from what no longer serves a purpose. We're still at the end of 2021. So it's time for you to start making decisions that are going to be more beneficial for 2022, which like I said, is the lovers, you know, coming into divine unions with our counterparts. You cannot do that if you're still dealing with somebody who's got some sneaky ass behavior or you're being the sneaky one, you're being the conniving one. I think that it's time for you to, you know, really go off and, and do your thing. Um, because if you do, the universe is going to bless you in so many ways. So be wise, you know, that's what I'm getting out of this. Be wise. 
I feel like for someone here, maybe uh, somebody's going to come back and say that they left something. Maybe they left something behind because they're trying to prolong this. But I think that it's going to cause some type of an argument. Um, Spirit, please show me what messages do we have for this partnership. Okay. So it says, I can't stand not talking to you. So maybe the two of you guys have not been talking, obviously. Uh, I know we're twin flames. Uh, I don't think so. Not in this reading. I do not feel like you're dealing with a twin flame here. I think that that's a false twin. The silence is killing me. So you two are definitely not talking with one another. This person misses kissing you, um, but they don't feel good enough for you okay yeah they may miss the good times between the two of you the intimacy you know all of those you know fun attractive things that keep people long, uh you know hanging around but yeah they want to be with you but at the same time i don't think that they're capable of being the person that you need them to be because again like i said we've got the liar cheater thief card right here with the seven of swords and right here i am sorry for lying to you this person lied to you okay and that's why justice is here and, you know, this person has delayed karma. And I think that the karma, you know, sometimes, you know, we wish that other people would get karma for the, you know, bad things that they've done to us. But sometimes their karma is just the fact that you are walking away and you are ending this relationship. You know, it doesn't mean that all of them are terrible or any of that. Some of them lied to you and told you that they, uh, they wanted to be in a relationship and that they could do all the things that you two had talked about. And in the end, they couldn't provide. They, they, their, you know, eyes were bigger than their stomach and they were incapable. So, you know, you had to go back. And for some of you, you know, the universe has taken this person out of your life because you have a soul contract that you were going to do something else. And this person is a distraction. Okay. So it doesn't mean that the two of you guys can't be together in the future. It just means not right now. There are other things that you need to be learning. And for others of you, I feel like, you know, if this person has lied to you, I don't know that, you know, you'll ever be able to turn around from that, okay? And I just got a, a, a confirmation on my phone. So, you know, keep that in mind, you guys. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and pull a couple of cards. Okay, wow, those two just came out. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And power, you instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any point in time. So you take your power back when you decide that enough is enough. I'm not going to be with you if you're a drug addict. I'm not going to be with you if you're an alcoholic. I'm not going to be with you if you're a, a cheater and a liar. I'm not going to do this. I'm taking back my power now and I've decided that I'm going to go elsewhere and I'm going to go out and I'm going to go on this journey that the universe has is, is, uh, got on offer for me and I'm going to go and do those things because I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. Anyway, you guys, I am running the buy one gift one. If you guys are interested, uh, my information's in the description box and you guys, I love you all so very much and don't forget to like share and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and we will chat again tomorrow. Take care.